hey guys i'm not sure how long or little this video might be if you've seen the last couple of community posts you already know what's going on i got hacked on my main channel which was my main channel that i have had since february 7th 2012 so almost 11 years that's where i first started on youtube i started off as a beauty channel and then years later i switched over into a full-on cooking channel i had 11 years of videos over there and they completely erased everything i'm kind of hoping they are on private and once you to help me figure this out i'll get my videos back but right now i'm not sure if i will get those videos back even though i'm more active on this channel i always say that is my main channel because it really is because that's where i first begin and i post over there at times but this year i had a whole lineup of a schedule that i was going to start doing over there so what's the interesting thing about it they contacted me on this channel email but they were so focused on my main channel so i should have thought of that as a red flag but i do have multiple contacts in my description box so maybe this is the first email they seen that's connected to that channel also they contacted me i believe it was january the 11th and they claim to be fiji water so it's not their fault at all that someone was trying to portray them so no hate to them or the company it's just someone was using their information and i have dealt with a lot of companies for a long time and a lot of times i just bypass the offers and i don't jump to it but this particular one just stood out and it seemed legit even in the media kit they sent me it was like an actual promo video it was very clean smooth they probably just got it online somewhere and they sent me another file which was the contract i didn't open it at first but i decided to so when i opened the contract somehow it did not open up I even downloaded it again because it was not opening up. I'm like, this is so weird. I'm like, why didn't they just send a PDF file for me to look at? It was like impossible to open. So that should have been another red flag. I am going to point out my husband is very tech savvy and he even told me, he said, you sure you want to open this? I said, well, I have opened things before where it wasn't verified like software or something like that and it was fine. So y'all, I really thought nothing of it and that was my brutal mistake. So he went ahead and run it for me and he was saying that something was just weird about it. So minutes later, tons and tons of emails were coming to one of my backups emails associated with my main channel kept saying you change your password your recovery email was removed your phone number was removed like everything is getting removed from my main channel gmail account i'm like what so right then and there i knew what was happening i tried to log back in and I try to log back in and switch everything over, but it was way too late. They have already done the damage. They erased all of my videos. They put their profile pic up. A little bit after that, I went back on my main channel and I seen they had deleted all of my videos and put all of their information and took mine away. And I was like shocked for a minute. I literally kept going back on there because I thought everything was like a blur. It was like a dream. I couldn't believe it. Crazy how many videos I have watched and people went through the same steps where they try to open up a contract from a fake brand pretending to be that brand and it happened to them and most of the time they got their channels back and everything but sometimes they said it was a longer process and some people said that they got back to them pretty quick but to have them it hurt it so bad you guys like so bad like i worked on that channel for 11 years and it just took everything from up under me they even got into the assets account where that's how you get your revenue from your channels and that account was connected to both of my channels so whatever content i put over here now they're still going to get because they're connected to both this channel and my cooking channel and it's not even all about you know the assets account because first that's not my main income me and my husband both have full-time jobs but it was still mine you know you know how i get like products and stuff like that i'll use that to create content and put it back in my channel how little it was it was still mine 
saying you know so for right now i'm not going to be posting on this channel um i'm going to bring all of my content over to tiktok and i do have a cooking channel on tiktok that i'm gonna focus more on but i really cannot remember over the 11 years like how many videos i did or what cooking videos i did so i'm just going to recreate those videos over there but they do give you 10 minutes now on tiktok but i probably would never do a 10 minute video on tiktok people go over there probably just to look at short videos so everything i'm doing on here i'm just gonna bring it over there i do have a but i'm gonna do everything i do on this channel but just break it down shorter and post it over there just temporarily because what i do i don't post everything over there like i do on here but now i'm going to i'm just really trying to stay positive about it i did get in contact with somebody from youtube the team youtube i just put that in my hashtag and i tagged them and they got back to me probably within maybe 15 minutes so i am going back and forth with them it is a slow process but i'm just keeping hope and hoping that everything will get resolved and i know i'm not the only one going through this y'all it's so many people getting hacked every day so i understand they have to work with a lot of people i don't talk about it too much but i do have high functioning depression where i can hold a conversation do my job well just be the happiest person but underneath all that i'm not feeling good but i've been doing so good with that for a long time where it wasn't as bad as it used to and that's one of the main reasons I started YouTube back in 2012 to help with that you know to have a community to do all of my favorite things cooking I'm talking about perfume hygiene all that stuff so it's really been helping me with that but when this happened oh my goodness I just felt horrible I'm still feeling horrible but I know I'm way way stronger than that and I'll get through this um I've been thinking about starting over fresh um just continue to grow my TikTok I probably just um every videos i do on tiktok i can post those on instagram and facebook also because i do have a facebook page as well that i don't be too active on but if i really you know put my all into it i can do it this is just like a hobby and a love for mine like i said i do have full-time work i work in a home health care field i still have kiki's cookies got my cookie business and i'm not busy with that all the time but sometimes i get super busy where sometimes that's why i don't post on here because i'm busy doing cookie orders and busy with work but my outlet is coming on here and doing the things that i really love to do and the things i love to talk about because like i told y'all before there's no one really in my daily life i can talk about perfumes and all that kind of stuff so that's why i just love coming on here i hope they don't have access to this account i think they was trying to break in this account also but i had my two step verification on i'm thinking that's why they couldn't get in and i changed my information immediately and i'm not sure if i put that on my main channel or not i thought that i did whatever high level of security these social media platforms got definitely take advantage of that but i think it should be way more secure like if someone's trying to get into your account i really think you should get a phone call to your phone number um even though they can probably break in and switch it up real quick but just something different you know and i kind of wish um youtube had a better system for stuff like this you can't really talk to no one on the phone or at google or AdSense, so it make it hard to try to communicate through email you know because they gotta work with other people also you're not the only one they're working with and i do understand that like i said i don't think i'll post on here for a while until this all get figured out until they figure this out but i still will be producing new content over on tiktok for both my cooking page and this page i'm not gonna let it break me even though i am down and sad i'm human so of course i'm gonna feel that pain i know some people are thinking that's crazy why are you feeling like that i know it might sound weird when you've been on here for this long and they just took everything like that you're bound to feel something you know especially people like that i know or that come to me they'll ask me for a recipe and it felt good to direct them to my cooking channel from like five six years ago i'm like oh yeah i've done that recipe already is on my channel if you want to go check it out even all of my cooking videos on tiktok it directs them to come over to that channel and watch so now if they do go by that video on tiktok they're gonna be like there's no cooking recipe for this so for now i'm just 
gonna um continue to work with youtube and like i said hopefully they figure everything out just wanted to do this video to say be very very careful who you work with do not open up any type of files and what sucks about it you know it can be a legit company trying to reach out to you and now because of stuff like this it makes me more cautious and like is this real or not because with what they sent me when i click on the website it took me directly to the real company's website everything was just so legit looking out of all the offers i've had in the past and i never accepted them this is the one that i accepted and this is the file that i downloaded to make all this happen within seconds they was working super fast because as soon as i downloaded that file they immediately changed everything like at one time they was moving super fast so it could be multiple people doing this for like one person you know i don't know how that works and as of right now they're still using the channel what hurts me the most i didn't want to do that but i just randomly search in kiki's kitchen there's other pages but i did not see my page i tried to search my recipes i've done in the past and nothing came up that was just so painful um because my videos always come up when you search different recipes especially when i did them so to just be like non-existing and to know that that all the work you put in hours of editing all that it takes a while i might not be like popping on the youtube world but it takes hours y'all to like edit videos even the videos i do over here they take a little bit even though i do like my voiceovers and pictures and stuff you now i still gotta take the pictures i still gotta put the video together i still gotta edit the voiceover so it's a lot of work that go into it but i enjoy it so much i'm trying not to make this not make me not want to do youtube anymore when it first happened and i'm like i do not want to continue to do this but never download a unverified file i don't care how familiar it is just be careful do not download anything very careful if you want to work with brands or companies if you want to hit me up and talk you can hit me up on my facebook instagram inbox tiktok inbox you know i'm always here if you still want to talk or anything like that now i'm just rambling like i said this video probably was all over the place i probably did not talk about anything in order i just want to give you guys an update to not just leave the channel and not tell you guys why and what's happening also i want to mention when you do reach out to team youtube on twitter or any social media platform and other people know that you have been hacked you will get a ton of spam comments and replies saying i will help you or so and so help me with my channel please contact them so you do have to be careful with that but they're going to look like spam comments when you see it and you will know if it's from the youtube team or not i'm not sure if they have access to this channel but they have access to my AdSense, which is connected to this channel so anything i post over here and if i monetize it they're gonna get it because it's all under one account and i wish AdSense had a separate custom service google separate youtube separate it's like you don't know really where to start at every hacked experience have their own thing of what happened or what's going on you really do feel lost because some people say it took months or some people say it took days everyone experience is different and i can't base my hacking experience on theirs and plus it's like the weekend and stuff so and monday is a holiday so i'm not really sure when it's gonna get resolved but i really hope really soon i was feeling all bad yesterday but when i do feel like this i'm gonna do what i love to do best i'm going to edit some videos for tiktok record some new content and i'm gonna post it over there and if you don't have a tiktok account that's totally fine i know some people don't care for it or you know everybody not on all these social media websites websites but i'll keep you guys posted this is the most updated information i got at the moment any more updates i post on my community posts and one thing i'm not even sure if i want to get the channel taken down but if their channel get flagged or something and removed i wonder would it affect them bringing back my old content i don't see i don't know how any of that stuff works okay guys well and i'll see you in the next one and hopefully everything will be back good once i come back and thank you guys so much for all your sweet comments in the community post. It really, really means a lot. But we're not going to let this person or persons get to me, you know. But okay, for real, I'll see you in the next one.